Hello everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to enable or turn on live captions on your iPhone. First things first, you need to be running iOS 16 or later. So once you've updated your iPhone, if you haven't already, what you're going to want to do is to tap into your settings app with the gear icon there. And this is an accessibility setting, so you'll want to scroll down until you see the accessibility options there. So just tap on accessibility. And then once you're here, just go ahead and scroll down until you see something that says live captions. It may have the word beta next to it because it is a rather new feature, uh, but it really doesn't matter. Just tap on live captions there. And then you'll see something at the top where you can just tap to turn on live captions. And then once you do, you're going to see something, a, a box, a little dialog box that you can tap and hold as you see that I'm doing now and just drag this anywhere on the phone. This is a great accessibility feature for the hearing impaired or for the people who who just would like to have a little bit of more information as they're listening or watching. This is enabled on FaceTime if you enable it and tick this box here. You also have live captions in RTT. So this means basically when you're making phone calls and things such as that. And then you could even tap into the appearance tab here to increase the size of the text, the boldness, the color, the background color. You can even have the opacity a little different if you wanna change that there. I prefer the default, but you can adjust that here. If we go ahead and hop over to YouTube now and just press play on one of my videos, you can see here where it says listening. I can drag this anywhere on the screen. You can see now that it is basically giving me live captions for anything that is coming out of my iPhone. So any audio coming out of the iPhone will have this auto live caption feature. Works for FaceTime, works for YouTube, works for podcasting. I've tested it on a bunch of different things. And again, it's not perfect, but it works well enough to where if you are hearing impaired, you're going to get exactly what you're wanting to get. And the flexibility of tapping and holding and dragging this anywhere on the screen is just another great feature. I'm sure they're going to iterate on this, but it is a wonderful option if you're someone who is hearing impaired or someone who, again, just wants to have more information to go on if you're taking notes or anything of that nature. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great tech tips and tutorials just like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.